Hello, ladies and gentlemen, it's your boy Paul Blake in the building. So, the new. Whoa. This video is going to be based on Yo Senju's only. Now, I'm going to talk about like a few things in this video. I'll probably talk about like the RV episode, what, um, how they like got featured and stuff like that. And then I'm going to talk about how the new card that Yo Senju's got, which is pretty good. So, let's talk, so let's talk about RV first. RV. Now, I know Vizquiz did a video on this, but I'm going to really take my point of view on the two cards that made Yo Senju look like really OP as shit. So, first one, the spell card that was revealed, um, I don't remember the name of it, but I'm going to see how I explain that effect, because 9 out of 10, it may not be a real card. But if Yo Senju ever get this card, it would be really OP. So... When you send you when a you send you monster returns back to the hand, your opponent your opponent has to return a card on their side to fill it back to the hand. Now that's the spell card, and you have to pay eight hundred like pay eight hundred life points to activate it. Now the real card that makes this card really good was the trap card. The trap card literally says, when it, whenever cards would return to the hand, will get shuffled to the deck instead by your send you monster. So meaning, oh, I some I drop out the tiger, I drop out the tiger. I bounce back. I'm gonna bounce back two cards back into the deck. Then, then I'm just gonna go summon, summon, summon. Bring out the older brother. Older brother to play. Oh, send a, send another face up card back into the deck. And then in the end phase, um, all the monsters that I brought out, they will go right back to the hand. So you lose like five cards. So they will go right back to the deck. It's like what? 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 No, 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 no. Now, if your Senju's ever get any of these cards, yeah, that's that would be really OP, really, really OP, and that would be scary. I'll be on a scary note though. So, next thing I want to talk about about the new Yo Senju monsters. Now, some people may not may not have noticed them. Now, this one he's he's been around for a good while now. If you're not familiarized with him, this card says if this card is done with something, you can supposed to make Yokai. Monster from your deck, and during the end phase, if this card is normal summon, this turn return back to the hand. So you you pretty much supposed to summon any other yokai besides the tiger. Because trust me, if you were able to supposed to summon a tiger, you know how OP you know how how OP this card would be. This card would be a thousand dollar card. But what tribute supposed to summon out the tiger? Um, bounce two cards back, then bounce back tiger. Mm -mm. Hell no, nah. hell no, nah. no, no. That would be so freaking scary, really scary. But that's besides the point. So let's get into the to the um the secret of eternity or secret of evolution. I like secret of evolution and eternity. Like, come on, Konami, stop pushing up these names. Let the OP names ride. Like Brother of the Fire Fist. That's like the most OP name or well, OP archetype name I have ever seen. Well, that's just me because you know I just love the Fire Fist and stuff like that. But that's besides the point. So the first Yokai monster. The second Yokai monster that was revealed inside the secret of evolution was a Kalut for the deck. He's a thousand, he's one, he has one thousand attack. You use each of these effects of this monster, so pretty much when he's normal summon, or if he's summoned, you can give a Yokai monster a thousand attack. Now, you can discard this card. During damage step, you can send this card to the graveyard, and the Yokai monster gains a thousand attack. Now, meaning, now it doesn't have that same sense where you can just go, oh, I can just go drop all three and be great. No, it's only once per turn. So, nine zones of ten. Now, would I, how many of these would I play in, in a general deck? Now, if I was playing at 42 cards, I'll probably play two. Because one is a beast word, two is searchable by tanky. Now, if I was playing at 60 cards, then I could play at three. But at the same time, Two would be the optimal choice because you don't want to open up multiple copies of those. Because you know, opening multiple copies of those cards would be considered a dead draw. And also, too, as well, the only drawback I don't like about that card is that it's actually a dead draw because it doesn't have that. Oh, we know when when this guy is known something, he's known something else. No, you don't get that effect. So that's one thing about that card. So I know probably most players would probably play them at one. Because you use the gateway to, to you know, get back a yokai monster back, you know, from the graveyard. So you could, you know, reuse them. But 9 out of 10, 
you really don't want to waste your searches on that on on that collude over your your counter trap because your counter trap is your genuine your general card. You want that card to go off. You want that card to be around you at all times. Now you'll see me do a, a little mistake in these rules because that, that's what I said. I am human, not a robot. So nine out of ten, if you're thinking like you know, oh. Damn, yo, Paul's like, you get for real, man. No, fuck no. I'm human. Same thing with you get for real, man. Does he, he, he does, he puts up a lot of video. Not, he does a lot of duels, picks out the, the best looking ones, and then he constructs into a video, and then next thing you know, boom. Oh, damn, you get real, man. Just really got like, da 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 da. Same thing for OTK. Why'd you OTK? Well, OTK. I, I, you see, I'm not gonna disrespect the, the channel, but I'm just gonna put it like this. They do, he does the same thing too. I'm not gonna do the same thing because why? It's annoying. And I don't feel like doing that because, you know, you guys wanna see me do, do testing and all the other great stuff. So I'm gonna give you guys all the testing in the world. Now, right here, this is a really good play for me because even though it was Royal Decree, I literally read the, um, I literally read. The <clears throat> the limiter removal. So bring out that guy was pretty good instead of returning the guy. I mean, even though it would have been more damage, but no, I don't want my opponent having any extra XYZs in their deck. I don't know what the hell this guy was playing. All I don't know is that he gave me a huge advantage. Now yo guys, they could play. They get they could do good going second, or they could do good going first. Now, most most of the time, I would like to go first because this deck is very helmet. Yes, it's, it has a helmet. You you don't see you don't see this you don't see this helmet card right here. Very helmet. You know, you gotta protect your head. You know, you know when, when you're riding a bike to to a match, you know you gotta have a helmet. When you're riding a motorcycle, you gotta ride you gotta ride a helmet. I mean, look at freaking you and stuff like that. Five Ds helmet. But that's besides the point. So. So now in this matchup, I don't even know what. Oh, so it's zombies. That's what it is. Zombies. Okay. So that's besides one. Now the main, not the main topic, but the next deck that I am working on too as well is Infernoids. Now I'm gonna be trying to do different archetypes, you know, every single day to keep you guys, you know, guessing. Like, oh man, oh man, you know, we we see fighters all the time and all that other great stuff. I know you guys love the fire fist, but at the same time. I know other people wants to see different things, so I will do that. Now, <clears throat> regarding all that, at the end of the video, I will post the deck list of the first tests of this build. Now, for one, I'm not an originator for this. Let's see him. Let's see him. I, I saw this. I saw it, this place out of Lithium. So, like I said before in the last video. I will be playing this, this playstyle for a while until I see like the other stage of yokais. When the other stages of yokais come out and and pendulums are, are more optimal to play, then I will use it beforehand. So now let's get to the deck profile. All right, so here's the deck profile of this deck. Now one thing at the time at the start, fuck the side deck. Excuse my language. Forget the side deck because why? Side deck is not really, you know, utilizable. It's it's in a working progress. And trust me, all these cards would not be my side deck anyway. So let's get into the let's get into deck profile. So we got one Yama C Saki. I cannot say that. I'm sorry. Um and we have the new guy, Mag I'm just gonna call him Ma. Mag. How about that? Mag. Mag. Yeah. So I'm running two Mag. Two Three of the second brother, two, two five is bear, three of the older brother, two of uh, three of the whoa what the hell am I going on here? Three of the younger brother, two MSCs. Wow, two Padawatis, two MSCs, two Lance, triple Stormfront, two Tensus, triple uh, whoa, double Yokai Shrines. I'm so sleepy. I'm so sorry. Triple Tanky. One Divine Winner of the Mist Valley, one Bombless Chapel, Torrential Tribute, Double D Prison, two Breakthrough Skills, 
one compulsory device, and triple of the Hermit Yokai barrier. Because this card is just that good. And one sound warning. Now, extra deck. Riding to zero. Double Tiger King. One, one to one. Harpy Pet Dragon. Pet Mirage Dragon, which is really good. Um, Hotland Drago. Just in case if I don't have enough wins, then I can just go bear, bear, and another card, and boom. Do another 2000. Castell, double of those guys. One Diamond Dire Wolf. Two Lion Shidori and one Exciton Knight and one Diagustal Emerald and the Weller and Gaga Cowboy. Now the changes I'm gonna do straight up that you guys will see. Um Dime Dire Wolf for X Y Boom. I like this guy. This guy is the best. He is, how I say it, he's base. He's very base. Just saying. So, that is the deck profile of this thing, of this deck. Now, like I said before, do not worry about the side deck because the side deck is not complete. It's not even good. And trust me, I have not tested this deck out in matches. So, like, comment, and subscribe. This is your boy, Paul Blake, out. And for noise, will be tomorrow.